That was the remains of Obasaliu Akamu Adetuji Aje Ogungoni Sori First being lowered to the grave. At exactly 9.40 a.m. on Sunday, 2nd of January 2021, the remains of the late Olubadan of Ibadan, Obasali Wakamuadetunji, was brought back to his palace in a usage ambulance bearing registration number 42A417FG. Members of the family, of course, could no longer hold their emotional feelings as they burst into crying and wailing. The body of Obaade Tunji was thereafter laid on his bed, placed in his visitor's room, where a recitation of the Holy Quran took place. The Olubadan's personal trumpeter could not hide his feelings, he also paid his last respect. At exactly 2.30 p.m., the body of Obade Tunji was conveyed in a royal chariot to Makpo Hall, which is the central location of Ibadan, for prayers and lying in state. At exactly 4.40 p.m., the remains of Obade Tunji was returned to the Popo Yemoja Palace for interment. Among the callers at the Popo Yemoja Palace of Obade Tunji was the Oyo State Deputy Governor, Engineer Rauf Olaniya, who noted that the state government has benefited from the wealth of knowledge of Obade Tunji. The Jagmo Lubadan, Chief Olumu Iwamakinde said, Obade Tunji had brought sanity to the traditional institution of Ibadan land. Obaba brought a lot of sanity, a lot of uh, uh, respect into uh, uh, the traditional institution in Oyo State and Ibadan in particular. Fuji music legend King Wasiwa Inde described Obade Tunji as a pillar of support who picked him from the streets at the age of 15 and nurtured him to date. The most important legacy in life is when you live a fulfilled life that you never compromise. A disciplined man to the core is Obasali Obade Tunji, a man that is truthful and honest. The former governor of Oyo State, Otumba Adebayo Alawakala, described Obade Tunji as an upright rare father whose tenure brought development to Ibadan land. He was a father to all of us, even before he became an Oba. We have been seeing one, but it's sad, it's sad because uh, just about two weeks ago we lost another permanent, uh, another permanent uh, Oba. He came now too. So, uh, we should rest in peace. While speaking on the next line of action for Ibadan people, the Mayegun of Ibadan land and former president of the Central Council of Ibadan Indigenous, Chief Bayo Uyero, said after the compulsory mourning of Oba Adetunji, the kingmakers will meet to nominate the new Lubadan and his name will be forwarded to the state governor for approval in line with the laws guiding the appointment of Olubadan. It's the void of rank, but you must still follow the due process. The next person has to be pronounced. By our arrangement in Ibadan land, you know who the next Olubadan will be. All things being equal, we know who the next fifth Olubadan will be. But there must still be due process. Obasalu Akamu Adetunji was crowned as the 41st Olubadan of Ibadan land on March 4, 2016, at the age of 87, and reigned for five years. The reign of Oba Adetunji attracted infrastructural development to Ibadan land which included new train station, international stadium, and many others. The burial of Oba Adetunji was witnessed by other distinguished personalities like the former governor of Oyo State, Senator Rashid Ladoja, Senator Fatai Buhari, the State Commissioner for Information, Culture and Tourism, Dr. Wasi Tubosun, members of the State House of Assembly, and host of others. Meanwhile, all markets in Ibadan land have been ordered to shut down tomorrow in honor of the Olubadan of Ibadan land, Oba Soliu Akamu Adetunji, the order to shut down the market was given by the Babalodja General of your State, Ashwaju Yekin Abbas. Abiyodun Akinkunle, Bishwes News.